The third key point is what to actually look out for uh, when it comes to certification and documentation around CEDEX and BSCI. Now, when I first started Swanky Socks, I was using platforms like Alibaba. I was basing everything on trust and seeing a piece of uh, documentation that had a name and a factory on it, but I didn't actually know where my products were actually made. And it's not until you go overseas and you build that trust of the factory that you really understand uh, what is actually required. But the key thing to look at is the name on the factory audit form versus the factory you're actually working with, ensuring they align with each other. Number two is looking at the expiration date. And as I mentioned, CEDEX and BSCI are both usually over a one to two year period. So ensuring that the expiration date is valid um, because it's very easy for a factory to lose focus over that period and lose track of where they should be in terms of um, keeping those standards to a high level um, on a global scale. So focusing on those two little key components can have a massive impact on how you see yourself as a brand and ensuring that you are CEDEX or BSCI accredited.